Just like any other religion in the world, the Chinese too have their own version of the creation of the universe. For thousands of years, their story of origin has been passed on from generation to generation orally. But about 1,760 years ago, the story was written down in their sacred scripts for the first time. According to the story, everything that exists in the world has come from Pangu, who is said to be the creator of everything. Many, many years ago, when the universe was still new, the entire universe was contained in an egg-shaped cloud. The egg was filled with chaos, a mixture of yin and yang, but there was something else inside the egg as well. There was a giant named Pangu, who grew up in the chaos. For 18,000 years, Pangu slept inside the egg. But after 18,000 years of sleep, Pangu finally woke up and broke the egg, because of which all the matter inside was released into the universe. The lighter, purer elements drifted upwards to make the sky and heaven. As for the heavier, impure elements, they settled downwards and formed earth. Now, one interesting thing to note here is that this is exactly how the universe was created scientifically. All the planets, including our beautiful Earth, are made up of heavier elements like iron, nickel, platinum, uranium, and so on. The lighter elements, mostly gas, make up our sky and atmosphere. Even the stars that we see shining in the sky at night are mostly made up of lighter elements. Anyways, after the formation of Earth and sky, Pangu stood in between Earth and sky. His head touched the sky and his feet planted on Earth. Pangu didn't want heaven and Earth to get mixed up again, as their collision can bring back chaos. So Pangu stood between the two and kept pushing them further away from each other. As both heaven and Earth began to grow at a rate of 10 feet per day, Pangu grew along with them. For another 18,000 years, Pangu stood like a pillar between heaven and earth and managed to separate them by 30,000 miles. Once Pangu was convinced that the two would never touch each other again, Pangu died. Soon after Pangu's death, his lifeless body formed the other elements. One of his eyes became the sun and the other became the moon. His arms and legs became the four directions and the mountains. His breath became the winds and clouds. His blood became the rivers, and his sweat became the rain and dew. His veins became far-fetching roads, and his muscles became land. His hair and beard became the countless stars in the sky, and his skin became the flowers and trees. His teeth and bones became the minerals and rocks, and his voice became the thunder. According to one version of the story, it is believed that the fleas and lice on Pangu's body became the ancestors of mankind. But there is another interesting story behind the creation of humans and other animals and I'm gonna tell you about it. Okay, so basically, thousands of years later, a goddess named Noah came to Earth. It is not known how or from where she originated, but it is believed that she must have originated from Pangu's lifeless body, just like the rest of the world. Noah was lonely and alone in the world made by Pangu, and so one day she saw her reflection in the water and realized that there was no one else like her in this world. So she decided to create beings who looked exactly like her. Noah took some mud from the pond and shaped it into the form of a human being. Soon after that, she gave life to the human being and it became alive. Noah was happy with their creation and decided to create more humans. Now, Noah wasn't lonely anymore, as she played with her creation all day. To create more humans, Noah pulled down a long vine and dragged it through the mud. She then swung the vine through the air, and because of which, the mud fell on the ground and it created more humans. It is said that the humans made by Noah using her hands became the aristocrats, and the humans made by the vine became the poor, common people. But Noah soon realized that all human beings are dying and are reducing in number. So Noah decided to divide the humans into males and females so that they could reproduce and make new humans without the intervention of Noah. But one day, the day came that Pangu feared the most. The heavens eventually collapsed into the earth, 
because of which the earth was cracked and water started coming out of the cracks. Over time, all the land was flooded with water, forcing wild beasts to prey on humans. To make everything right, Noah took various stones of many colors from the river and then melted them in a fire. She then used the molten rock to patch the holes in the sky. To hold the sky in its place, Noah also used the four legs of a giant turtle. But because of working tirelessly for days, Noah had lost all her strength and she eventually died. Her lifeless body then created all the other essential elements, just like Pangu. Since humans were able to reproduce and increase in number, they no longer had to rely on their creator Noah for creating more of them. And so this was how the world was created according to Chinese mythology. For more such videos on history and mythology, do subscribe to our channel.